Broadway lost an icon in 2021, legendary restaurateur Joe Allen, but his iconic namesake remains one of the great eateries in the theater district. Let's send it out to Perry Sook. Thanks, Tamsin. Joe Allen's restaurant is known for having posters of Broadway flops on the wall, but the restaurant itself is a long running hit. I'm gonna head inside to learn some more. Let's go. All right, we are right inside the door at the bar where we are lucky enough to get a seat because it's closed uh, with the general manager, Mary Hatman. Now, Mary, right in the heart of the theater district, truly a staple to the theater community. Can you tell me a little of the history of Joe Allen's? So Joe opened in 1965, back when people didn't really go this side of 8th Avenue. Sardis was already around. Right. They were very supportive. They would like send people over. The workers, rather than the celebs, were, were hanging out here oh, right wow. in the beginning. Yeah. But then, it, as, as time went on, it just kept growing and, you know, turned into the spot. Obviously now, quite the clientele list. Any, uh, any fun stories you'd like to mention or anything? Well, we don't, we don't name names. Okay. We let people have their privacy here, you know, and I think it's one of the reasons that Joe has rem remained, you know, successful for so long is he pretty much kept, kept that under wraps so that people mm. felt like they get to be just like a regular customer like everybody else. Now, another thing that I happen to love about the restaurant uh, is all of the posters of the flops of shows. Can you tell me a little about that? Well, apparently what happened was it was not a plan. It was oh. it was that the year Joe opened in 65, Kelly had gone on mm -hmm. and closed within 24 hours, within the Jeez. first performance. Now, that was it was a couple months before Joe actually opened. But when Joe opened, the cast came in here to supposedly celebrate what was would have been their opening night. Mm. as a joke <laughs> and they had the poster with them and they said to Joe you should really hang this up you know because this is probably going to be the biggest flop ever yeah you know? well where else so could they hang it <laughs> that was that was the beginning of it and then as it grew over the years like even publicists would send posters as soon as it failed you know like <laughs> just to see if they could get it on the wall sure or personal friends or whatever there was always somebody coming in saying like could you please like mm. at least we could get the poster up all right, I'm here with today's floor manager, Brian Javer. Now, Brian, what would you say is the uh, the busiest night? You know, do you get a pre pre show or mid show, and any uh, day in particular? The post is always busy on uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Okay. Because the shows are a little earlier Tuesdays and Thursdays, so people can go out after Saturday. No one cares when their show ended, you know, unless you got a unless you know unless you got two shows the next day. Which sure. I think <laughs> only a few shows are doing that now. Now, the menu in particular, I know it changes very often. Any items in particular that stand out as you know crowd favorites? The meatloaf is definitely the one where, you know, I have to answer the most questions and, <laughs> you know, people call to make a reservation. They will ask me, is the meatloaf on the menu? Wow. Is the liver on the menu? You know, the La Scala salad. Mm -hmm. um, we never take the cheeseburger off the menu, luckily. Good. So, yeah. I, I'm always down for a good burger. All right, I'm at a place anyone can feel comfortable here at the bar with one of the wonderful bartenders here, That's Chris Rosansky. Right. Uh, so I gotta ask, what would you say is the most popular drink here at Joe Allen? Anything classic, right? Joe Allen is very classic. When you come in here, you feel comfortable, you feel warm. It's like you're in your living room, right? Mm -hmm. So we don't have to get too fancy with ingredients, things like that. So classic Manhattans, classic old fashions, the Cosmo, um, those type of things are the best to have at, at this bar here. Well, I am a, a whiskey guy myself. Mind making me a Manhattan? Absolutely, for sure. We do uh, three dashes of bitters, Angostura, do an ounce of sweet vermouth, two ounces of our bourbon, we use Maker's Mark. All of our up drinks get served here. Oh, a little, wow. little sidecar, yeah. right? So we do crushed ice, we add salt, keeps uh, the ice super, super cold, and it keeps it from sticking. It's a little uh, class and science. For sure. A little, a little molecular uh, mixology here for you. Thank you.